It's a little after 9 in the morning, and I've already been awake for two hours. Woke up at 7, because my body's like, hey, you got this work schedule going. Fracking. Internal alarm clock. Which, normally, when I stay up as late as I did last night, I can sleep in a little bit, but not today. So I've been alternating between trying to fall back asleep and scrolling through all the internet places. And now I'm debating about whether or not I want to go to the grocery store. I'm so tired, I want to live the hermit life. However, I do need to start cleaning this place up and making it presentable for people because heaven forbid I should want to have a guest or, you know, like find a new roommate and they want to see the apartment, you know. But before I can do any of that, I need pants. Pants means I have to get out of my bed, which is so comfortable. But I can't stay in bed all day. I mean, I could, but I shouldn't. I've been doing it way too much lately, gotta... Lady, I've been doing that too much, too much lady. Too much lately. Gotta get out of the ball. Start doing the things. I also need to edit a shit ton of videos today. I'm behind. You let one day of Vlogmas go and it just sort of avalanches on you. Follow me as it's the daily saga of turning the lights on in my apartment with the step stool. <laughs> So, I'm thinking that it's definitely time to start tidying up the apartment. I've had my little pity party, my roommate's gone, I'm all by myself, oh boo -hoo. So, I think it's time to clean up, get my shit together, so I can find a new roommate. Plus, I just feel better about life when stuff is clean. I mean, I'm not like a clean freak, obviously. <laughs> But I'm not super slovenly either. I feel like I've just given off the complete wrong impression. But it caught me at a bad time where I was like, I was just so upset about my roommate that I literally could care less about what my apartment looked like. Plus, when big changes in my life happen, I somehow get motivated to like change other things. So like when she moved out the first time, I rearranged where everything was stored in the kitchen. And this time, I started cleaning out closets and stuff. And so... Not only was it already not super, like, immaculately clean, but now there's just crap everywhere because I've been dragging stuff out of where I've had it hidden. You know what? Need to get on top of that and, like, be a good adult. Not that adulthood is necessarily defined by being able to keep your apartment clean. I'm feeling so oddly motivated today, which usually happens after I meet someone new, whether it's a new friend or a date time, because... I'm just so boring and like while well, I am completely content to just lead a boring hermit life and I really don't care if people like that or not at the same time it's like I want to live and I just need to get out of my rut I need to clean up my apartment and I need to go do the things I always say I'm gonna do and I need to just stop being such a hermit slash lazy person slash internet human but I feel so accomplished as a person when I go out and I do the things and I hang out with the people. It's time to stop rambling about nothing and go clean some stuff. I've gotten some cleany type things started, dishes, laundry, put the trash together to go out tonight, taking a quick lunch break, and most importantly, a spark break, because this is going to take my motivation and it's going to fuel it. I'm going to get my house clean today, yeah! So, funny story, or at least slightly comical, me just being oblivious as always. So I'm finishing up the very last of my salsa verde chicken casserole, which is actually turkey casserole because of Thanksgiving leftovers. It's got a little bit of onion in it, but I figured out that it tastes even better with onion on top of it. And I've really come to like grow to love onion in this past year. I put a lot of onion on it and I've been putting onion on a lot of things lately because it's just me. I don't have to worry about anything, but I made some of this for myself yesterday as well and not thinking because I'm just so used to putting onion on. I put a crap ton of onion in there. Ooh, light. And then about halfway through, you know, you start to feel the onioniness on your breath. You know how it goes. And then I realized, oh crap, I have a day tonight. Not only do I just not want to have onion breath or gross breath in general while I'm speaking to you, but like if you want to kiss me, that's not an okay situation. I brushed my teeth so many times yesterday because I just, I felt like the onion was not gone. I don't know if my teeth have ever been this clean, 
I don't know. I may I may have done some damage. I may have worn <laughs> away some enamel. But I'm just like so oblivious, just not thinking so much in my routine that I'm not even thinking about, hey, what am I doing tonight? Now that I'm eating this again and feeling the onioniness again, I remembered the blind panic I went into yesterday. And then the many subsequent brushing slash floss slash mouthwash slash tongue cleaning things that happened to try and make me minty fresh, which I think worked. I hope so, because otherwise, uh. I've gotten a good start on the cleaning going, working on a lot of half-finished organization products, projects, not products. I don't have organization products. I need organization <laughs> products. Yeah, big announcement. Got my own line of organization products coming out. Also, before I forget, I have to, once again, thank my friend Kenny, or SilentFan85, here on YouTube, for his shout-out. Um, he gave me a really nice one on his channel the other day, and not even just shouting me out, like, showing my channel to all of his people, because he's doing this new thing called the Weekly Bump. So, I'm actually going to link to that video down below, so you can go watch it if you want. I just, I always love it when I'm in other people's YouTube videos. It makes me happy, like, it makes me feel like a semi-real... YouTuber because I would not classify myself as a YouTuber, but you know, I like to think it could be. He's really nice. He's been with me from pretty much the beginning, I think, and uh, he's a good YouTube friend to have, and you should definitely go check him out, so I'm going to put the link to his channel down below, as well as the link to that specific video, so go watch it. Give him some love. And I just sprayed stuff in my tub to clean it, and I feel like I'm dying. Like, kaboom, it works great. But it's toxic, and the ventilation in my bathroom just sucks balls, so, yeah. <coughs> my nose is burning, and my chest hurts, and I have been coughing, and I'm not a fan. But my tub will be clean. Er. My fracking video won't upload again. I'm already two days behind. This is not what I need, YouTube. Is this God telling me something? Like, Megan. You should not be putting all of this information on the internet. This this is not the right path for you in life. I'm on, I think, the fifth attempt. So maybe this one will be the lucky one. Like the last- Yes! Oh my god! Woo! Speaking it into being, uh, I would also like to speak a million dollars into being. You gotta try. Secret the shit out of that. Stop! everything stop what you do well don't stop what you're doing because you're watching me and that's good but hold everything else guys breaking news french toast crunch is coming back to stores and if you don't know what that is i am so sorry for you and your sad life and i highly suggest that when it comes back in the new year you go get you some my favorite cereal when i was a kid i loved that Shit. So bad for me, obviously, but you can bet your bottom dollar that I will be buying that cereal and I will be flipping out about it. Like, there may be a holy fudged up balls moment. The Landon live stream is gonna start in a few minutes. So excite. And after that, uh, G plus with my mangoes. So maybe I can sneak a little peek of those things to you, you probably don't care. Well, that live stream was wild from start to finish. Technical problems, although not as bad as the technical problems last week that stopped us from completing uh, the live stream when we were originally supposed to. Sort of got him to say hi to my vlog, but I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Landon, next time. Although it won't be vlogmas next time. Or well, maybe it will be. I don't know. 
No, Vlogmas will be done. Stayed up way too late talking to the mangoes in our post live stream G plus and our maybe possible secret project did not exactly take off, so. And I keep forgetting to do my outros, so I'm both so proud I remembered to do this one today, so. There's my ramblings for the day. As always, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this face, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come find me in the internet places. My links will be down below. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.